how's it going, man? Thank you for joining me for another live stream. I'm joined by some usual suspects. I got JJ LeCoup joining us. Thank you for joining it's us. It's cool, man. You're cool. <laughs> we got Swiss <laughs> joining us at like 3 a.m. local time. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. And we got the one and only the captain. How's it going, man? How's it going, guys? Hey, man. How's it going? Doing yep. good, man. What are we all wearing? I actually got – it's a lazy day today. I got the PRX on the wrist. Yeah, I'm wearing the PRX as well. Look at that. I'm wearing the root. Root See, beer. me and JJ, we think so much alike. Very nice, guys. Very nice. we got some Rolex representation. I like that Batman background. Too bad I don't have it on the wrist cap. Too bad I don't have it on the wrist. I know. I know. Well, they didn't give me the Batman. I had to settle for the root beer. <laughs> yeah, so uh, tough luck, huh? Tough luck. There I know. I, I know. Uh, Trap, I are you considering changing your name to Catman? <laughs> Catman? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the, like the, the, the dark. How about the dark night? I always like, I love the dark night, man. Oh, gosh, you guys are nuts. We got a few fellas in the chat. We got Big George, New York, joining us saying, upvote, good evening, gents. Hello, man. Hope you're doing well. We got Danger in the chat, reminding everybody to upvote. Thank you very much. Logan Hall saying, way to class things up with the new profile pic, Marco Logan Sharp. That's right. I went corporate, guys. I had to put on suit and tie and everything. You know what I mean? I had to class it up. I had to Wait, class it up. Where is this? On what? On what? Oh, so if you see, like, I, I don't know if you can see the display. Oh, picture. my God. <laughs> yeah, oh, see. man. Who is that? I, I class it up. It's, it's, I, I went corporate. You know what I'm saying? I went corporate. We got Big Sal in the chat. Hello, Sal. Hope you're doing well. That's right. Bobby Google Limited. That's, that is correct. It's we got cool. Moss Bobby Google Esquire. <laughs> you know what looks, would look great with that suit? A 1921. No, a 19... 19- 42. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, we got Dr. TikTok in the chat joining us. Hello, man. Hope you're doing well. We got Design Atelier. Ooh, he says I gotta wear a suit like in my avatar. You know what? I might I might just do that. Actually, my I think my birthday is in a week from now next Sunday. So I might just have to wear a suit for that and just show up. What what watch are you getting this year? <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Stop it. We got Spence R in the chat. Hello, my man. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, that would right. be amazing. So, if that happened again, that would be so fucking funny. Oh my god, it's not gonna happen again. Come on. No, I know, that, but I'm just saying. Yeah, it, I, I gotta make a. Honestly, I, I gotta get a move on, make a video. I just have so much fucking shit, shit to look forward to. Uh, we got Basil's bezels in the chat. Hello, man. Hope you're doing well. Spence saying, "Yeah, settle for the root beer." That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, huh? We got Mike David saying good afternoon from tomorrow. Hello, hello. We got Roar of the Tiger in the chat. Thanks for joining us. We got a doc and his watch. Hello. And Perth Luxury, who's currently en route to the AD. Cool, man. Yeah, sure. Join us live on location. Live. Oh, and we got the one and only, the medium legend, Toyota Mo. Hello, man. How's it going? Hey, boys. What up? Mo? Hey, How's man. it going, guys? Hey, Toyota. Guys, I apologize for no streams. It's been it's been rough. I've been very busy. Hopefully, I can tell you guys the news soon, but Super chat. stay tuned. We got Super Muhammad chat. Ali joining us in the chat with the set 18 pounds. Thank you very much. Can Captain say, I'm Batman? Hold on. Let me put full screen. Here we go. I'm Batman. I'm, I'm Batman. No, come on. You could give I'm him- Batman. No. I'm Batman. That's the, the way, Chris, voice. That's the way Christian Bale says it, though. I'm Batman. Yeah, I'm that's Batman. It. I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough. Can someone clip go. that? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for the super chat. Very kind of you. Should, yeah. Should I, so, should I check myself in now to the institution, or should I wait? Yeah, you should. You should. Because right I'm right. fucking losing it, obviously. Well, oh, man. Speaking of Muhammad Ali, that was somebody I got to meet last year when I was at the London Watch Show. I guess it would be a good time to, I guess, talk about it, right? Because that's what's going on now. I've been following here and there some of the streams, some of the videos. Looks nice, oh. actually. There, it looks like there's a, a diverse selection of watches. Good selection. A lot of, like, what? Rolex, Paddock, and what you'd expect, mostly. What's with yeah. all the drama there? What's going on there? What, was there a... I, at first, I heard that one of the guys got... You know, robbed. Obviously, he was a really nice guy. Uh, uh, I forgot the name of his uh, thing, but uh, Edinburgh Watch Company, right? Ed, yeah, Edinburgh Watch Company, right? Uh, Edinburgh, Edinburgh or Edinburgh? Right? Yeah, Edinburgh. I'm pretty sure. Edinburgh. Right. Edinburgh yeah, the city. and then then I heard that Edinburgh. that wasn't a true. And then I heard that wasn't a true story. Um, I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. No, it, really... it's true. It's yeah, true. It's, it's definitely true. Yeah, it's verified. How come they all took down their stories and? 
I, you know that you ever see that watch Nicholas live stream? He, um, you know, he was talking about it. And he said, I, I caught part of it, and it said that Paul Thorpe and everybody took down their stories. Right, and that's um, that's what the police advised them to do because it's an ongoing oh, okay. investigation now. They told oh, everyone okay. just to take down any videos. I don't know what help that, and I don't know what that's going to do toward the investigation. But they were just advised to do that. So, oh, all right, I got it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. See, I was a bit in the dark on that. Shout out. Speaking of the dark, hello, Shaw in the dark. Hope you're doing well. Just let me drop the link. Let me drop the link. Anybody wants to join the fellas? Um, yeah, so I, w I, was, uh, I was a little bit in the dark because kind of like JJ, I was wondering what the heck's going on. But yeah, it's definitely pulled due to an investigation. Basil's Basil's also confirming that same situation. It's, it's kind of, you know, it kind of sucks. Um, what are you going to do? It, it, it kind of is what it is. You know what I mean? When I was there last year, actually, both Nico and Roman were very worried about that, right? They were like, anytime somebody, especially when they're setting up, right? Because, you know, somebody just jacks one from the from the yeah. stand that you're setting up very easily while you're setting up. You know, it's kind of a quick sleight of hand. So they're like, if anybody approaches, you know, just stop what you're doing and, you know, help them out and, and make sure they're they're looked at, you know, just in case because you never know. So yeah, from I mean, what look, I, yeah. No, Sorry, I was I was say, watchers should be locked in the case and taken out one at a time. Well, so with his situation, with that, apparently that never got to the case. It pretty right. much got stolen before anything ever happened. As they were like unloading everybody's um, um, inventory, they noticed one bag was missing. So, yeah. So it was, right. I mean, it seems like an inside. I'm yeah. not a. Right. Just, well, wasn't there something that the so. cameras are off? Right. Someone said the cameras. Right. Are off. Yeah, the cameras got turned off. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's look, this. I don't. I don't want to say anything because I don't know any facts. I'm just going right. by what I heard. Rumors, and obviously, like I see some people saying stuff about the guy. Watch, uh, Nicholas. I don't really know who he is. Um, I know. Uh, I'm not saying he's a credible source. I'm just saying what I, you know, I heard a bunch of different rumors from different angles. So. That's why I don't know what's going on. I don't know any of it to be true or false. You know, I'm just trying to piece it all together. Look at this, JJ. JJ, this would be one for you. Rooted Rotor says he sold off his 216570 Polar today. So that's the 42 mil, but the previous model, not the newer one. Just a bit right. too big for me. I tend to agree it is a little bit big. He said he paid 7200 two years ago and sold it for almost 12000 I'll okay. probably read it. Not really. If it's too big for you, I mean, you'll be able to get something that will, you know, that will fit you better. So you can ultimately use the resources, get something else. I think it's, I mean, if you're not wearing it, it doesn't make sense to keep it, you know? Right. I, I paid a, a, a little bit more for mine than he sold it for. I, I paid uh, like 13 for it. So I'd probably sell it for 12, five. I would take a $500 loss. Other than that, I'd probably keep it. Right. Cause yours is like pretty much unworn, right? Uh, it's I, I don't know if it was unworn, but it's mint. You know, it's de dead mint. There's, yeah, it's a it's, slider. It looks, it looks slider. Like, yeah, it's definitely a slider. Mm -hmm. It looks brand brand yeah. new. The thing. Uh, I never wore it. I never. I just I traded it. Um, you know, and you in, just in a looked big, at it. Big, you looked at it, <laughs> and you admired it. And that's yeah, it. Yeah, you know that was my first Rolex. So it's true, right? Yeah, that was their first. We got Maynard <laughs> Goff in the chat joining us. Hello, hello, and AMG as well. Hello, AMG. Well, you didn't do too bad on that, JJ, because you had uh, the JJ, uh, the JJ, the JLC look, um, Reverso, and what else did you give up? The Speedmaster, right? Right. Yeah. So, I, so I that makes that. you a little bit more liquid. It's easier to move that than those two together. Definitely. Right. Right. Either way, I'm saying if I would have sold them, I probably would have got like you know I would have been around thirteen anyway. So. You know. Yes, by the way, shout out to uh shout out to AMG. Congratulations on the new watch you just picked up a Note 8 sub, 41 millimeter. So yeah, oh, man, watch is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah. As, man, that it's is so clean. such a nice watch. Yeah, timeless. It's, it's a timeless, it's a classic. It's a beautiful, yeah. beautiful watch. I mean, man, love it. Honestly, I don't miss mine, but I did really like it when, when I you had see, it. You know what it's I mean? just like when you see a picture of a brand new Submariner, no date. It's just like, it's just clean. It's so clean. Black yeah, is just, I agree it's, with you. Uh, it's just it's classic. It's it's a beautiful watch. Everybody's, everybody has a sub, right? But yeah. when you actually just wear one and see one, it's just it's something else. See, I so I was speaking with Omar about this, right? So in the fragrance world mode, there's a lot of like those people who are like, oh yeah, everybody wears Creed, you know, like, but it's still a very expensive luxury watch, right? 
people live in like this this online echo chamber where they watch a bunch of YouTubers and most people, you know, have subs or, you know, they talk about owning subs in like the chats of live streams and what have you. But it's not that popular. Like, let's be honest, the chances of you encountering somebody else wearing a Submariner are so slim. Like I've never even seen like nice luxury watches on people, almost never, you know, actually like in person or, you know, just randomly on the street. So it's not that ubiquitous in my opinion. When you live in Florida, though, you see a lot of people wearing uh, high-end watches. Fair enough. I guess environment location definitely plays into it. But yeah, I, I mean, it's still, it's still a beautiful, beautiful watch. Yeah. We got SLC gorgeous, Watch Collector right. saying he upvoted and he's so ready for the new watch release. That's right. 11 more days, guys. 11 more days and our suffering and pain is ending. We're finally getting some new releases. I, I think we should go around the panel. What brand are we most excited about? What brand? What do we say? JJ, go ahead. Rolex. <laughs> really? I feel like they're going to have the most boring releases of everybody else. I want to know if they're going to kill. Yeah, but I have a vested interest in them. That's oh, it's true. Right, right, right. Yeah, you're a shareholder, change. as we call it, right? Right. I, I want to know if they're going to uh, change the Milgauss around or discontinue it. Uh, there's things I want to know. I'm interested in Paddock. They discontinued a lot of watches. Not that I have any interest in buying uh, you know, new Paddock. It's tough, but I'd like to see. There's a lot of stuff that discon uh, got discontinued. A lot of annual calendars got discontinued. Yep. 5711. All the world times are discontinued currently. Yes. So the 5230 got discontinued and the 5231. So both have, of those. Have got they moved the value since they got discontinued? Because I haven't. No, seen actually, that. the 5231 has been sinking the past couple. Of <laughs> the, a lot of watches actually are starting to like fall in price. So Panda has right. been falling. Uh, Royal Oak has been falling a little bit. Uh, what else has been falling? Uh, Tiffany OP is taking a punt, but that was way, you know what I mean? Way overvalued. Way too yeah, I've seen a Tiffany uh, 41 for like 29000 on the on the forums. So yeah, those have, moved, those have moved big time. Um, it's still $29,000 for a $6,000 watch. Yeah, which is Compared crazy. to 39000 last month. Right. Crazy. <laughs> still yeah. nuts. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I think so, I think you're gonna see another bump. Wait, you, you yeah, know, this, no, it, it has to happen. This, no, I think this is a bump in the road. I think you guys are gonna be shocked. I think it's gonna fucking take off even more. I think naturally it had to slow down a little. Oh, you bit. think this is a bear trap, as we call it, JJ? A bear <laughs> yeah, trap? yeah, this is definitely a bear trap, without a doubt. Um, I, I I agree with you, JJ. I think this is just the taper off, and after watches and wonders, it's gonna take off again. So yeah, that's an interesting. But don't forget that watches do tend to slow down. Prices tend to slow down as we approach like the summer months past the holidays. It's usually natural for – and but, it would be, in my opinion, healthy if there, we saw at least a little bit of a correction in prices. Because I have, watches a, I have a feeling – I'm going to have to go with JJ because I have a feeling this summer because what's happening right now, everything is beginning to open up again, right? So people might go out on vacation and maybe they're going to buy that watch on vacation. They have, you know – I, I can kind of see the market going up. I don't think it's going to crash or plummet or anything like that. I don't think the bubble's going to burst anytime soon. I think you're seeing a little taper here now. You're going to see yeah. a bump up with some interest on the new releases. Then it's going to cool off again in the summer a little bit because people are going to be traveling and stuff. Yeah, like July and August. But after the summer, I think you're going to be well surprised into the winter. Yeah, yeah that will definitely pick back up then. No question. Right. Yeah. I, Marco, especially people uh, predicting like a whole crash. I don't think that's going to happen. Like at first I was like skeptical. I was like, ah, these watch prices are crazy. But I think honestly, there's a certain amount of it that I don't think you'll ever be able to get Rolex at retail the way we were, you know, five years ago or six years ago. Unless, uh, unless there's World War Three. Like that's the right. thing. Like, nobody's that's never going to happen again. Because there's just too many people invested in watches and the amount of people buying more watches and getting into the hobby every day yeah. and amassing bigger collections is just growing, yeah. you know, so it's, it's never going to be the same market anymore. You this know, is could, kind of the new reality, but I think there will be adjustments along the way. Right. We could see a uh, kind of a bifurcated market. Right, where you see certain uh, like stocks, like, like a cat. certain, I like certain bifurcated, go certain, ahead. certain, certain, you know, brands go go up and others go go the other way. So like, like a softening. So maybe you like short Omega and go long Rolex AP 
Patek. All the, right, for sure. All the all the cream of the crop is going to go. Is yeah, cream. exactly. Yeah, I mean, the Speedmaster is trading at retail or just under retail is just ridiculous. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. Omega makes way too many watches for that to happen. Just very quickly, I want to address the super chat. We got Perth Luxury with a two dollars saying, "JJ, can I still be on if the AD has a ceiling fan?" Yeah, that's no. No, problem. no, you cannot. I don't want vertigo. <laughs> no, that, nobody with ceiling fan. <laughs> Kevin says subs are everywhere. I saw two on my walk. Okay, well I guess there I live. Go. See, yeah. So Addis, to be fair, I do live in Montreal. Live Montreal, there's not much. There's not many. Uh, there's not many. Can I? What's can called? I make a bold price prediction, bold Mark? Sure, sure. All time highs by Christmas in watches. That's not a bold prediction. Everyone's saying the market's going to tank. Me saying all time highs is not bold. It's going completely. Against yeah, but the, so here's the thing, right? So it's taught. I think watch record, record is, highs, record highs. But the, <laughs> the market has also been climbing, clamoring back. To be fair, JJ, the last couple of days have been really good. I'm selling. Market. I'm selling nothing. Yeah. So if, if if let's say the market starts climbing back, crypto starts starts climbing back as well. I mean, I, I don't see diamond yeah. hands, hodl, right. hodl. Hot like a bitch to the moon, Di to the diamond moon. hand, your Rolex, to the moon. your Royal <laughs> Oak. <laughs> Look at this. We got Perth Luxury, who's looking to be de wrenched and banned, <laughs> saying with a two dollar super chat, saying long as new releases will be better than VC. Uh, I completely disagree. Uh, Perth. Sorry, I, buddy. I highly doubt that. Yeah, but so, you know what? I'm looking forward to both Longa and VC, and of course, Rolex, too. all those releases. Rolex. So Rolex, I will, I'm interested uh, Rolex, to see VC you know. for a specific reason because I want to see if they buy into the kind of hype slash sports watch market and they basically just release a bunch of overseas models or they kind of stick to their guns and, you know, stay with the classic type watches or we see a mix of both, you know? So I, I'm actually really interested to see the kind of, uh, what's it called, the direction that VC goes in. By the way, Mo. I guess it's been like a couple of weeks now that you own the overseas. How are you liking it, man? What are we thinking? Oh, he's Absolutely. got it on wrist today. Fucking there love it. it. Love this watch. Look at this thing. Beautiful. Mm. Oh, beautiful, damn. beautiful watch. God damn. Got it on the bracelet today. I actually like it on the rubber strap a bit more because it's a lot more comfortable. But yeah, absolutely love it. All right. SLC watch collector saying, what do we think will soften? I think definitely like Omega, IWC, even Panerai has been clawing back. Like, Panerai's are starting to get, like, a little expensive, to be honest with you. I think we're definitely going to see those start to soften over time. By the way, I just want to say hello to the rancher joining us. Hello, man. How's it going? Not too bad. Actually, uh, actually, another barrister in my is basically wanting to pull the plug on a Panerai. So I've been trying to talk him out of it, but, you know, the heart wants what the heart wants. <laughs> I want a Panerai, too. But Marco keeps telling me I'm not allowed. What do you mean? I'm, I never said you're not allowed to get a pen. Rolex, I love my pen. Rolex only. <laughs> this guy. We got respectably late saying he's being his namesake. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for joining us. Full on John saying they will release a Black Bay 58 GMT. In all honesty, I don't know if that's a re realistic, to be honest with you. Why didn't they release it a couple of years ago? No. Why not? Why wouldn't they though? I don't. Uh, I, they should. I'm not saying like you're right. I agree, but why didn't they do it two years ago or or last year? Yeah, but I mean that's not like you know. Uh, it well, takes time, just right? You, right, just because you didn't do it doesn't mean you should never do it. Like oh, too late now. Now we can never do it. You know what I mean? Might as well do it. I think they'll do it's it not... eventually. I, I just don't know if it'll be this year. Hmm. Yeah, I hope so. Whoa. Yeah, Cap, you got to get rid of that that G the Tudor GMT. Get rid of it I'm, ASAP. I'm man. trying, man. I know. Get rid of it ASAP. We, we got Ali Res at the water. Weight. That paperweight. <laughs> I could bring that into battle, man. I remember telling somebody not to buy that watch. I could swear. Fighting crime is hard. All right. Hard. So Ali's in the chat. Hello, man. Hope you're doing well. Saying Captain as Bruce Wayne or Commissioner Gordon. Oh, whoa, a Swiss and a Mo, and a, it's the Don Tourbillon. That's right, Don Tourbillon. Mm. What's up? If I have a choice, I'll Ali. take Bruce. Ali, Ali it's nice to man. see you. A rare Sasquatch sighting. It's always nice to see you in the chat. <laughs> Sasquatch. <laughs> the rumors oh, are true. Yeah, I'll take, I'll take Bruce Wayne. If I had the choice, who would you rather be? Yeah, Bruce Wayne. 
Yeah, of course. The guy's a billionaire. Whoa. Billion, billionaire, commissioner billionaire, Gordon. Playboy, billionaire Playboy or yeah, exactly. yeah. Commissioner Gordon? I think it's a pretty easy choice. So, I always like I always like the bad guys in those movies. The bad guy, like the heel character. Oh, I've, yeah, always loved, I've always loved the heel. So to be fair, though, The Dark Knight, I think, is probably top five movie all time. And The Joker, which is like yeah. the heel, yeah. is That's... like Heath Ledger in, in that movie was, I mean, it's got to be one of the greatest acting performances, arguably, of all time or up there. You know what I mean? It was insane. He'll, he'll never get unseated as the best Joker. I no, agree. There's no question. It will yeah. never, nobody 100%. will ever beat him. He was better than Joaquin Phoenix, I agree, I, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, Joaquin Phoenix was still good in his own right, but... It, it was a different approach. Yeah, it was completely different, in my opinion. Yeah. You guys are forgetting Jack Nicholson played Batman, the original Batman. Oh, he's the OG I Joker. He doesn't count. <laughs> he's the OG. <laughs> Batman 89. So I, those older Batman felt more cartoonish, whereas of like the, the newer ones feel more real life. Yeah. You know, yeah kind definitely, of, yeah. definitely. Chris Nolan's were tremendous. That's right. All three of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So one brand I am excited about is actually one of the brands I think that will soften, or I hope that does, is IWC. Because I want to see an ingenieur. I want them to see to re-release the original Genta ingenieur. And then Preach on. Preach on. Yeah, that would be amazing, right, Rancher? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, my God. It's got to happen, honestly. The, if you want to so, talk about all eyes looking at IWC, all they'd have to do is, or, yeah. You know, the design was perfect the first time around. They literally didn't have to change anything. Just update the movement. You know, like it's perfect. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Hey, Switzerland, give us the stuff we want. <laughs> right. There you go. Yeah. They need so, to yeah, come I, out. Yeah, they really do. It would make no sense if they didn't, in all honesty. So that's one I'm, I'm really excited for. Um, I'm interested, obviously, in VC because I'm very biased. And another one I'm very interested in is freaking Urban Jurgensen. I haven't heard anything. It's still radio silence. It's their 250th anniversary this year. Yep. Kari was appointed the new CEO, and we're almost three months in. Oh, sorry. And I've heard zero watches being made. No watches, and they have no watches currently being produced. Need to switch. So will they? Will they uh, make Swift. releases in a, in, in April? That's the thing. We have no idea when they're going to release something. Yeah. All, all we're talking, all we've heard is next year. Right, and next year is in 2022, right? Because Whole Milk is saying wasn't doing anything until 2022. Wait, they're not doing anything this year. That's my understanding. Won't. Won't. Are you for real? <laughs> Re retooling the brand. Retooling the brand. Mothballing it. Wait, so that makes absolutely no sense. So this year is their 250th anniversary, and they're going to do absolutely nothing with it? Um. Well, that's one way of putting it, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're not listed on the exhibiting brands. Nope. Yeah. No, they're not listed. So. That's why. Um. All right, so that's a that's a... Jesus Christ. That's a bummer. <laughs> That's anticlimactic as heck. <laughs> oh, wow. We got crappy luxury. Hello, crappy. How are you, man? Um, so, yeah. So, the ingenieur is one of them. I'd love to see that come out. Uh, what else? VC. I'd love to see something nice. Something really nice. I feel like they're going to come out with a green overseas. I don't oh, know why. That would be terrible. Yeah, I, w I wouldn't want to see that. But uh, I wouldn't want to see that. I want to see a new 1921. I don't know why. Something cool with the 1921. What kind? Um, like, you know how they did the cool platinum one? Like, I wish they would do something like that with white gold. Um, and then maybe give it like a, I don't know, like a little different with like than the regular white gold one to make it look more special, like a limited. Maybe like a blue dial with like the. Yeah, but if it's limited, you won't be able to get it. Yeah, if, exactly. You, well, you, know, you won't be able to get it anyway, so. Yeah, right. well, I, I hope it will be not limited, but you know, I'd like to see a green 56. That would be nice to see. Yeah, Ooh, actually, that's a model line I didn't consider. Yeah, they might be coming out with new 56 models. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna change my avatar. I can only afford to taunt Marco for so long. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. Whole milk says Kari has to do a deep clean. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. What, what can I say? Yeah. I mean, I think some of their existing watches were already very good. They didn't have to technically get rid of that many watches. 
Uh, like I thought their sports watch, what's it called? The one or yeah. yeah, that's, that was not bad. Hold on. I'll pull it up. There could yeah. be only one. <clears throat> I thought this was, you know, semi-decent, you know, as a sports watch, I think it still look, you know, respectably nice. I think this is, you know, it's pretty traditional, pretty good looking. Uh, what was the other one? And their 1142s, in my opinion, were gorgeous. Is it the 1142 or the 1140? Yes, yeah, the 1140s. These are super nice. Like this. I love so, this platinum with the blue dials. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, nice brigade numerals. Very nice. Yeah, this is this is. Do, so do you think they'll stick beautiful. with the like observatory hand? Yes, that's the part of their design language. Yeah. When yeah, Derek but, Pratt, they, but, but here's the thing: if yeah. they stick with Derek Pratt, right? If they stick with what they've done before, then how do they reinvent themselves? Like they're mothballed for a year. Kari's taking over. They're doing all these redesigns. How can you stick with everything they've done before? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, or will they do some radical redesign? Yeah, I mean, we'll see. I, I I don't see what they can change that much because part of the Urban Jurgensen design language is those teardrop lugs, the observatory hands. I mean, they're just they're part and parcel of the brand now. You know, it's like mm -hmm. Breguet's ugly lugs that are so long and protrude out of the case. You know, they're beautiful. No, they are beautiful. It's beautiful watches. Just the lugs suck. That's all it is. Yeah. Perth Luxury with a two dollars super chat. Thank you very much. Saying getting a JLC as one of my next three pieces guesses. I mean, the obvious choice is probably a Reverso, but knowing Perth, it's probably not. It's probably maybe a Polaris. Polaris, he's getting, yeah, that's my guess. Yeah, he's, I think he's gonna get a, like one of those master control divers, the one with the red and white, like you put. So, it. actually, I know what he's getting. Probably an alarm. <laughs> the the only uh uh. The only thing I can say is I also own this piece. Oh, he's getting a master control. Ultra thin. calendar. Okay. Maybe nice. That'll be cool to see. That'll be cool to see. Yeah. So gaming a, sca a skater brings up uh, a good point. The two two two, right? So on February twenty second, I believe it was, they released that kind of teaser, I guess. Of if they'd release the new 222. Although I will say, if they do release it, I don't know. It's kind of an outdated design. There's a reason they went away from it, <laughs> in my opinion. It's not like there's just. Super chat. What do you guys think? I, I don't know. It's just not my. I think this is really. This is like 70s, 270s. Looks like a PRX. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's amazing, it. guys. It looks like you put a I bottle want cap this on no, that really bad. That's amazing. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, it's Wasn't not, this not the original? Wait a minute. The, the, the bracelet original? is really outdated. I agree. That's, but the, the watch case and the, the dial and everything is really, nice. really it, cool. It, I love it. It's the horological equivalent of shag carpet. <laughs> <laughs> we got Andres Borghetti with a $20 super chat. Thank you, my friend. Saying evening, gents. Good to see the panel. Hope all is well. Likewise, Andres. Thank you very much. I appreciate the very generous contribution so whole milk brings up a good point saying cars watches don't look radically different from the uj design language yeah because he worked there he worked at uj he he's i mean he still does he makes the the, the dials or previously made the dials on the 1140s so mm -hmm. yeah i mean of course he he learned and apprenticed under Derek pratt he helped them with the dent and escapement so you know his his hands are very reminiscent of urban uh observatory hands the teardrop lugs you know are kind of almost a direct copy. That's why I'm excited, Whole Milk, for UJ's releases, because I'm hoping it's going to be like a Tudor and Rolex type of, you know, type of deal where like Kari will be the Rolex and Urban will be the Tudor, you know, so much more cheap and accessible for the average person. But I doubt that's going to happen. I doubt it. Any other brands you guys are looking forward to apart from Rolex? Tudor. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. Tudor, Tudor would be cool. FP Jorn. So mm. I am uh, very excited by um, brands like uh, Ferdinand Bertou, which nobody gives a shit, but I do. I care about them. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm really excited that they will, you know, probably release something. Maybe. I hope. 
Uh, also, I'm very interested with uh, Hermès. Uh, I, I hope... love it. See, me and Swiss yeah. are on the same train. Yeah, <laughs> I uh... didn't want to say it, but dude, <laughs> Hermès has been coming out with I, some I nice love stuff. what Hermès has been doing lately. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see if they have uh, something new in, in mind. You know, I like uh, that and... Hermès watch, but for 20000 I don't know, man. Twenty? What are you going to get for 20000 <laughs> A Rolex. I'll tell you, JJ. <laughs> not at retail, you're not getting one. If you see the Morgan well, Stanley report, oh, you can get uh, Tiffany dial at Rolex. They made it onto that list on the Morgan Stanley report, and the uh, what was the top top fifteen or twenty? They clawed their way onto that list. We got Daniel Katz with a two dollars seventy nine. Thank you very much. Saint Kari's daughter going to run Jurgens. I don't know if she will. To be fair, that's a good no, question. She, no, it, it was actually on the website. If you bothered to read it, she'll be fixing. She'll be handling service <laughs> on the existing. Isn't she sixteen years old? What? What? How old is she? Yeah, but I mean, Daniela Dufour is still pretty young as well, and she's been, she's been, she's now making watches with Philip, right? So. Yeah, but that is literally a one-man company. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Fair enough. You know what it's, I it's noticed different earlier? Than running Urban Jugensen. <laughs> You know what I noticed earlier? I was on Swiss's stream uh, earlier, and he had that um, top 20 up. He had from 2017 to now, basically, to 2021. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that JLC, Berguet, basically all the, the high-end dress brands, yep. since the pandemic years, they basically all went down. If you take a look at it, you'll see that like they went from like top 15 to the lower tier. Mm-hmm. Logan Hall, looking forward to a release of a Coke from Rolex, and if not from Rolex, then Tudor. Yeah, Lo I know Logan's been clawing for a Coke. He, he can, really wants can, I, can I just add something to what he just said? Uh, sure. They went down relative to the others. It doesn't mean that in absolute they went down. Just, just a clarification. Okay, okay. Fair enough. I just found it interesting. Y yeah, you know, but they they might have gone up, but the others have been booming like plus fifty percent. Like what the hell? So yeah, uh, it's only relatively to the others. I I didn't actually check the the absolute numbers. Okay, here's here's an interesting one in my opinion. We got Robert Reeves saying best sports watch Richard Mill. I would totally no. disagree. No, it's a hard <laughs> pass. But say best military watch Panerai. You know what? You've got you've got a point. Although I I don't know. There's a lot of good military mm. watches. Best tool watch is Rolex, unquestionably. Best dress watch, Patek. I mean, I personally disagree, but most people would tend to agree. That's so. like saying Rolls Royce is the best luxury car. Yeah. So yeah, it's arguable. Right. It's hard to argue against. Right. It's hard to argue exactly. against. Exactly. But yeah, I, this is interesting. Look, so. Best sports watch, Richard Mill. I uh, yeah, I can't I can't agree with that. I still think the best sports watch is Rolex. They make the best sports and the best tool watch. Well, They're you guys good. know what I think about Richard Mill, right? No, tell us. Let us know. Richard for me, Richard Mill is like rap music. It confuses and angers me. <laughs> <laughs> so but the thing is, right? It's so not here's a bad comparison. One thing, though, I, I have to say, right? I understand Richard Mill is a very hype brand and most people hate the designs. I agree. I think they're tacky watches. I don't love them. But you can't, you know, you can't, you can't disrespect the amount of work and the engineering that goes into making them. I mean, Renault and Poppy is literally a think tank for movement making, right? Like some of the best watchmakers, best independent watchmakers today came from there. Uh, so, you know, you can't disrespect, in my opinion, you can't overlook either what they're doing because it is it is they are they are very good watches i had a yeah. few of them in my hands and they feel solid they look solid yeah. they look beautiful is it a half a million dollar watch not really but you know it is it is a beautiful and solid watch look at this whole milk thing i just read the tag ceo is 28 yeah so it's the son of what's his name uh louis arnaud Yvette? right no, it's the son no. of. Uh, oh yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, he just, uh, um, yeah, he just took over the yeah. youngest, one of the younger sons, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, yeah. Homo brings up an interesting watch. I will pull it up in one second. Omega... Lou joining us, saying hello, all JJ. Thanks a lot. Thanks for joining us, what? Lou. 
What I do? What I do? Thanks a lot for what? We have no idea. The whole so whole milk says the Omega Aquaterra Ultralight. Let's pull. It's the oh, titanium one uh, with the retractable. Yeah, they come with different uh, colors. Something uh, like fifty thousand or something outrageous. Yeah. yeah, it's something crazy. Yeah. But it has its own, uh, you know, uh, its own movement. Very, very durable. It was so made, whole milk. Like, what about what about this piece? Do you like? Because in all honesty, I hate this watch. <laughs> no, it's not bad. It's actually there's not a lot bad. of technology in it. Yeah, there's. Yeah. A, I, I definitely for sure. That it's, would be like, uh, yeah. Uh, or if Omega tried to make a Richard Mille. Uh, but when I first saw this small like watch, I thought it was around. Oh, this watch is probably around fifteen k. Yeah. When I seen the price, my head almost exploded. It's it's basically Omega tried to make a uh, Richard Mille, yeah, completely over engineered, uh, a bit tacky, a bit out of this world, and uh, you know, was it a success? I'm not sure. But you know, it 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 is nice to see innovation. So yeah, I mean, I guess. But it's a Halo watch. Sometimes people innovate, and it's like, eh, who cares? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's not really necessary. I it guess. is. I guess it so. is. <laughs> it is right. necessary. Let me interject. Oh. Hey, Lou, can I borrow your wife? Oh, okay. I'll pull it. I'll pull that up in one second. So Phil Marceau says, "I uh, agree with RM." No, no, no. I call dibs on the wife. I call dibs on the wife. <laughs> Uh, the shock resistance. So, the sh but the thing is, can't you wear a G Shock? Is G Shock to consider a watch? Because that's better than Richard Mill in every respect. Yeah, I mean, let's be honest. When we say sports watch, people are not generally speaking playing sports with an RM. Yeah, Even though I so I think Ocho Cinco <laughs> has your Rafael Nadal. Field. Right. That's right. But his or Odell Beckham made Jr. with, but with uh, for a million dollars. There is there is other brands that make or what? even Odell more Beckham. shock resistant watches. Wasn't he wearing so one on a on the football RM field? RM isn't the best. They told him to take yeah. it off. Yeah, but I mean, what's it what's it called? Um, Rolex still make great anti shock pieces. So yeah, there's no question. So Lou says, took my wife to the eighty to get her date size. She told my sales lady how much I wanted a Pepsi. Today she calls yes. me and offers me the Pepsi. I'm picking it up Monday. Can't freaking Dude, believe it. Oh, congratulations. Oh, shit. <laughs> Congrats. Wow. Do you, do you oh remember God. this, Marco, with giving him strategy to tell your wife to ask? Holy shit. That's <laughs> fucking – that is crazy. That Bro, is absolutely you know why. Nuts. Think about it. Number one, first of all, they love to do crazy shit like that because it's a good story and it spreads – you know, advertising for them. But number two, if your wife gets you a Pepsi, now what? You're going to go back to that guy and you're going to Yeah, and she wants life. a necklace now. <laughs> right. There you go. Holy shit. And a boy, Lou, go get him. Yes, that's amazing. <laughs> Very wow. nice, Lou. Congrats, man. Congrats. Well played. Yeah, right. Man, I got to get a fucking wife. Yeah, it's very rude. I gotta get a wife in with me. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Lou says I kissed her ass for like ten years. Took my wife, and it's done. <laughs> the secret weapon. There we go. Well, obviously, she's not. He's, she's just not into you, Lou. I mean, that's just okay. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well played. J yeah, it was. I guess it was JJ's idea, right? Fuck. God damn it. Maybe I should take... What do you think, JJ? What's the strategy for me? Do I take my mom with me to the AD next time around? Hey, say my son wants one for communion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Jesus Christ. Oh. That's great, man. God damn. So I feel like so many people are getting amazing watches now. So Mo got the overseas. Spence got his 1921, which is insane. Uh, now we got Lou, who just got the Pepsi. We got some some fellows in the community that are getting some really cool watches that I know of. Uh, the community. Got, the community. Yeah, that are getting some really cool pieces. I can't wait till they're delivered. By the way, Uncle Stefano, just in time. Ca best prices bar none. No question about it. He is definitely the best. Yes, he is. I could attest to that. Hey guys, for a thousand dollars, you could hit me up on the at the uh, JJ Renta White. I like Maynard's idea. <laughs> That's correct, right? So, 
Can we go back uh, to Phil's comment? Sure, sure, sure. Here we go. Phil says battery versus automatic. Nadal, Bubba, cycling, subject to tons of shock, and that's the marketing genius. Hated or hated more, they're top of the sports class in my opinion. They are well, not. Yeah, there is plenty of other that. watches that it's, are way more shock resistant right. than the RMs. Um, yeah, I don't know about One that, example. That, that, uh, maybe not way I'm more. Gonna, I'm going to give you an yes, example. Yes, way I'll more. So example. the RMs, the they Braemont, market, it. They the market them um, uh, resistant to 5,000 Gs, which is a huge, you know, huge amounts of acceleration. So IWC last year, and everyone was, was laughing, but I think it's cool. They had that crazy piece with the crazy shock absorber. It is resistant, and they tested it to 30,000 Gs, that one. This outclass any RM yeah. by far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this well, is a good one for sure. Because you see that uh, golden ring? It, it, literally the, the yeah literally the the movement is held in that thing yeah what does that go for it's like eighty thousand. it's yeah it's a uh, it's more of a prototype piece uh you know yeah. show off piece <laughs> yeah another great anti-shock watch yeah. <clears throat> and i got this from ali ali reza watch sasquatch is Ooh. the bremont uh martin baker that I always talk about. Now, it's a great shock resistant watch, but you have to understand in price theory point, or in practice. <laughs> I think in practice too. I mean, they tested it, you know, with that uh, Martin Baker ejection seat. Oh, it's, true. it's highly I engineered. That one. Yeah, exactly. But I think we have to be bear in mind price point though. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're talking about you can't compare a couple of hundred thousand dollar Wait, RM, but we are talking, yeah, a seven thousand dollar Bremont, or what's the price of your IWC around that? Like eighty k. Yeah. How much? Oh, eighty k. All right, that's yeah. It won't, but it won't that's comparable. I doubt it. I, I doubt like how how much more shock resistant is it than like a Rolex or a Tudor movement because they're extremely shock resistant as well. Even Omega, to be fair, yeah. Omega movements are very shock resistant. Um. Von Krul says, I just got a Belova Lunar Pilot. It's not a luxury watch, but I love this. I mean, it's got all the history as that you as want you in it, a luxury watch. It's all watch, that counts. You know? Yep. It is a watch that went to the moon. So, yeah. Swiss, what are you eating, man? I'm <laughs> eating <laughs> meatballs. <laughs> you want some balls? <laughs> Didn't watch Eric. I heard a story. Watch Eric went golfing with uh, Audemars Piquet. Oh, yeah. That's a bad one. He made a video about it. Hmm. What happened? He went I guess the ball with the Royal Oak Chrono. The ball like deflected off something and then it hit his watch, right? And it broke oh. it. it oh no! Like no, Come I'm pretty on, sure man. it was. So from what I heard, is just the shock of the swing. Yeah, totally that's what I heard. Of his watch. Oh, was okay. It a shock? okay, I All thought right. it was. Yeah, so like he, did, or something. he totally forgot he had it on wrist, and he just you know he was he was I think he was at a a driving range. He wasn't playing golf, mm. and so he was top golf. Yeah, he's hitting the crap out of balls, and he had a, an AP on his wrist, and he just, yeah, destroyed that movement. That's a bad one. It's an expensive mistake, man. Whew. Especially because at the time, they would have been using the Dubois de Pro module, which is expensive to serve. Really expensive. Okay, so Ali says, I put one through holy hell. My grandma has gone through multiple weeks of shooting classes, pistol and rifle, Lots of slamming around too. It is tough, but all so Rolex watches can do that also. You can definitely shoot with a Rolex. You can play golf with a Rolex. Not recommended though, but yeah, yeah it's not recommended. But you can no, but still on their website it says that you can. Yeah, right? it says. Remember that you we can. were looking that up. Like you can play tennis and you can golf, but if it does break, I mean, don't go crying at them, right? Yeah, right, they will right, not. Right. They yeah, will they're not going to warranty it. No, I agree. No, yeah, no, for <laughs> sure, for sure. What Anthony Wells says last week when I was in Portugal, I was offered a rainbow at an AD. Why didn't you take it? I hope you bought it. I, yeah, I, I hope you bought it too. My goodness, is this for real? Just a, a random a rainbow, rainbow is like what, um, 120,000 and it goes for a million now? Yeah, it's like it eight, seven, seven, eight hundred thousand at least, especially brand new. Mm -hmm. My yeah. goodness. Remember when nobody wanted that watch? 
Everybody was yeah, like, I mean, that was the Platinum Daytona. They packed it yeah. in with a couple steel Daytona. I remember when the Platinum Daytona, Daytona was uh, underpriced. <laughs> I mean, so the thing, <laughs> so did, did Anthony, did he buy that watch? He says 79K. Okay, did you buy it? Yeah, hopefully he bought it. I hope he bought it. He bought, no, it's, it should be way more than 79K. Oh, probably it, be, it was right? the, it, it probably Yeah, was but it's the Euros. Day. It's probably Euros. Was it the day date? No, it's in Portugal. Oh, yeah, it is probably Euros, yeah. yeah well, it's still. 79. Okay. Anthony Wells says, yes, brand I hope new, you got wonderful. it. Wow. I mean, yeah, for real. Beautiful. Did, so did right. he buy it? Mortgage the house. For... Amazing. Oh, he didn't. What? what the no, you just turned no, out no, half a million dollars? Yeah. Who doesn't make sense, out? man. Doesn't it make sense. Been... What's that sound? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, he says yes. It was the day date. What is that? Oh, yeah, the day date. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Rainbow bezel dating? I don't understand. Yeah, day date. It's not bezel. It's um the rainbow dial. Yeah, it's the end. Super thirty. Down in Paris. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This okay. being said, it's still no, the gold. wife, no, the so, wife was with me. Yeah, like that, uh, but in uh, white gold. White, white gold, yeah. Right, you're saying, well, okay. Okay, so it's not, I mean, it's not the, what's it called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the rainbow. Oh, so actually, I also saw that uh, at my AD uh, in the, you know, in the window. <clears throat> it was $63,000. Damn. And uh, at, at the time, it was going, you know, you, you were losing a ton of money on that. And I don't know what the price is today, but probably it's it's over list. Probably over list. Yeah, probably over list. Probably a hundred thousand dollar watch <laughs> not, at least. Not Rainbow Daytona over list. So thank no. God. Thank <laughs> God that yeah, price is averted. Oh, so this one is 88,000 euros. Fuck. Pull it up, I go. saw it for 60. Pull it up, Arch. Damn, it's 100 yeah. US, 110. Oh, oh, so man. I should have so, bought it. Oh, fuck. Like I tell you, we all have hobbies. The thing. Okay, Andres says he thinks he likes the yellow version. I mean, I don't know. For that price, no offense, but I think I'm going John Mayer Daytona. The yeah, white but... gold blue dial. I think it's just as much, right? Buy I that, sell the it, and price. get the John Mayer. I agree. What, where's an email address so I can send a uh, day day picture to? Uh, here, I'll put it in the private chat. Thank you. There you go, buddy. You working to work on any pieces, Marco? Say that again. Are you working on getting any pieces? Yeah, I'm still waiting on the Note 8 sub, which is never coming. AD never calling. <laughs> <laughs> never heard that. <laughs> AD never called. You got to send your mom in, man. Bring out the big guns. <laughs> yeah, actually, I think you I might do that. My son a submariner right yeah. now. Yeah. It's it's just it's. Just you have weird. some nerve. <laughs> <laughs> you know how no. upset he was. <laughs> oh boy, you guys are nuts. You should check back, being that it's going to be a birthday. All right, coming through now. Let me pull it up. Yeah, I will definitely check in with them again. You just say, being that you fucked me on my graduation, you said you were going to get me when my birthday is coming. How about that? <laughs> oh, man, it's starting to pour rain out here. You want me to call up for you? Yeah. This is you fucking jerk offs. Where the fuck is Marco's watch? No, I'm just kidding. Imagine. That would be hilarious. I'm going to say, listen up, you little scumbag. You better give my nephew a watch. Just have her, just have her call and be like, JJ my gets birthday results. is next week, so... Is there anything you guys can do? No, did you get your watch from the guy? No, I, I didn't get nothing yet. I'm, I left a review on on, the, on there, and I'm going to tell them I left them a nice review and take it from there. All right. All what are we looking at, Rancher? Uh, day date shown to me by my local ID. That looks to be a Colombian drug lord. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is like this is like the Pablo Escobar that, version, that but without the, the without the aftermarket garbage on the bracelet. That I is... fucking love this watch. Look at this thing; it's awesome. Yeah, I think it looks pretty damn cool, <laughs> yeah. actually. Damn cool. fucking awesome! I mean, this yeah. is like this is the watch that rappers should be buying. Yeah, that is and true, that, though. This yeah, is this the is one a... instance I actually like the Pablo dial. 
right? It looks good. The I only thing I would change is I would rather have a baguette diamond bezel than that diamond bezel. Yeah, I agree. I don't like you the, know probably the round uh, diamonds bezel that comes with a thirty six and the bezel the um baguette, the baguette on forty comes with the forty. Yeah. No, but Renner, I thought usually... you weren't getting any 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 new Rolex. Didn't you just turn down like a sermon, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah, and I damn sure turned down that one too. Though they sh she showed it to me. It's just like basically one thing she was saying is that we have an older gentleman who always gets they always want the soup. He always wants the blinged up stuff. We've been calling him, and this is the middle of the pandemic, and he's like he's not answering the, our phone calls now. So you want this? I'm like hell no. That's right up your alley, rancher. <laughs> I mean, I don't understand why you didn't get the sermon. At the very least, you basically double your money. Now, look at the comment by Van Krul, though. All I have to do is show my hand and people wave die. My hand. <laughs> oh, wave my hand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't have. You are nuts. I got to be honest with you. Turning down a sermon at retail. Mo, would you ever turn down a sermon at retail? Yes, why? I, I, listen, if I personally. I look, you, I look at you or look at anyone in the face and say, I'm not the fucking problem for once. Right, exactly. You're exactly. not a flipper. Flipper right. scum. I'm not. I'm not I think... personally wouldn't, but I mean, it's a good thing when you're, when you tell the AD, no, I'm not interested in that watch, that proves to them you're not a flipper. So you might be offered something else in the future instead. So yeah. you think that's bad? You should hear about the Batman story that the rancher could tell you. He was getting it at retail. And, All the sticker, uh, sticker, not, not, not the story. Not the story. Let's let the poor guy. Hey, Swiss, Swiss, have have yes. Marco pull up. Uh, remember that flipper? Uh, the flipper you you pulled up earlier. Here we go. We got the picture. Ali Reza with the ten dollars and thirty three cents saying the Dolph party a drive yes. this or that panel thoughts as a one and done dress watch. All right, let's pull it up. Let's pull it. I up. love the cardio pull drive, up, Marco. Pull I would get the the simple moon phase without the dates. I agree. That's my favorite as well. Ooh. So I think this one is nice. Uh, definitely nice, but I still prefer the moon phase version, even though it's more expensive. Um, but it's still nice. They did the day window very well. I like the center guilloche. God, all these pictures really suck, man. Come on. Pull it there up. we go. Yeah, so the center guilloche is really nice. I love that. I love the drive. These numerals That's are nice. are nice too. They're very inky, yeah. so they're like almost three dimensional. The yeah. case is really nice too. I wish they they made it a little smaller, but on Ali it would look great. Uh, the only thing is, the second reference that he gave me is the same watch. Hmm. I don't know if it's a mistake, but it's literally. Hold on, this That's is the funny. other one. It's the exact same watch. Is it the same size? Yes. There's one offered. There's one for sale, pre-owned over here by me for like thirty-five hundred. I just, I just literally was looking at this watch yesterday, or today, earlier today. Yeah, it's about five k uh, retail or something like this. And so, yeah. Ollie, yeah. please, please let me know. Is it a different watch? Because it's the exact. It's showing up the exact same watch. Uh, for me, but yeah, three thousand. That's a steal. Isn't the market price like five thousand? Is one quartz? Much? Maybe one's quartz. No, he wouldn't yeah. ask. Uh, he wouldn't do that to us, would he? No, he wouldn't do a quartz watch. He knows better. Let me see. No, no, automatic. Yeah, this is that whole issue of uh, the same. They're both reference. automatic. It was yeah, a no. test to see if we yeah. would also. But no wonder why they <laughs> made it to number two. They're double counting. Yeah. I was so, <laughs> the moon phase is nicer. I think. Yeah, the yeah. moon phase. Is moon phase is much nicer. Plus, I don't like the way they have that date. It just looks. It just looks out of place there. So all like says, I have no idea. Cardis has have two different records that are the same for most of their watches. I can't figure out. Yeah, there's no difference. They're literally the same as far as I can. Yeah, they're the same movement. I literally have been opening separate half for the, both of these. But can yeah, you bring me, up the moon phase. Yep. Pull it up. You gotta say, pull it up, Mark. Pull it up. Pull it up, March. Pull it up. <laughs> Do you think Tim's pulling it up uh. right now? With the, with the <laughs> as if. As Look if at that. No date. Things up. It's, okay. That's so much That's it's like a different beautiful, watch. Beautiful. Get this one, yes. Ali. This and it's much. It's much uh. cleaner without the date too. Right. Yeah. You don't need a date on a dress watch anyway. You need a moon. Moon phase, phase is the most romantic complication mm -hmm. for a dress. It's the best yes. complication for a dress uh, watch. Federico got me on that, saying that it's most romantic. And no, not Federico. Tim Maso says that, right? It's romantic. 
They both actually do. I don't know who the one on gold is though. amazing. Man. All I know is I'm Tim Marco. That's it. Tim Marco. What do you think? Tim Marco. What's the last again? 40? It's like 41, yeah. yeah. Hey, it's welcome to Marco. Thanks for logging on. on. <laughs> Contact <laughs> Team Masso at thewatchbox.com for purchase <laughs> price and details. There you go. He says, oh, don't. it is 40. It's 40 by 41 millimeters. That's yeah, it. that's a good sign. He has a big wrist. I uh, wanted to get the the panel's opinion on a watch. I was looking at a watch um, the other day that Tim Masso reviewed, um, the Dual Time Cellini, rose gold with a chocolate dial. Well, I don't. You like want to it. pull it up, Marco? I, I think it was a good looking watch. Uh, I don't I like found the it more chocolate interesting dial than moon that face. The 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 cream dial is nice. I don't like the chocolate dial. Yeah, I don't like mostly brown dials in all honesty. But I think it is a nice watch to be it's honest. Good. I, I think done. it's a nice watch too, and I, I, the prices weren't bad because it's an older watch. I seen them for around like seventeen, eighteen k. That's expensive. expensive. <laughs> Hold on a second. I guess oh. I got desensitized from. Uh, I think from the all dual, the other Rolex. I think the dual times are being phased out, though, if I remember right. It's been like a year. That yeah, no, I think they are phased out because yeah. nowadays I think it's really the date at three o'clock is the new one. There's no more dual time, as far as I know. It's a good looking watch. Yep. And silver, I like it, not in brown, in all honesty. I'm being, I'm being, I think the the brown is. Yep. Eh. I like the day night indicator. That's what I like about it. I found That's that nice. interesting. Yeah, that is. But nice. I do understand that you like this. It is, it is a good watch. I mean, would so I ever buy it? Up... Probably not, but I just found it interesting. We could pull it up, is... I think, a version that's cheaper and that's better. Uh, of a dual time dress watch type watch. Uh, we got James Smith saying, apologies, I've been busy this last week with Paris auctions. Did Captain get his Ming? Yes, let us know, Cap. Did you get the Ming, the guilt? Did I get the Ming? No, no, I slept, I slept through the uh, the the, uh, <clears throat> the bronze guilt, uh, whatever you want to call it, all, uh, drop. What do they call those? Drops? Yes. Yeah, drop will work. Releases. Yeah. No, I missed that one, and and I didn't want to get the the other one, the green on the outer part of the dial, <clears throat> and the green strap. But just I have a Hulk. I didn't want I didn't want that one. So the answer is no. But I am working on a, another option to get a Ming. I have a mm. few uh, irons in the fire, James. Ming, 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 Ming. I will give you an update shortly. Okay, the I see the wizard I've secured told. one. He did secure yep. one. Yes, he did. Mm. Yeah, he snuck in there. I thought he hated Ming. All of a sudden, he's like uh, touting that he got one. He likes money. Oh, exactly. look, guys. Look at this. I got a bronze Ming. So I what do you think about Ming. this? I think this is really nice. This is from Daniel Roth. It's white gold. Mm. It's actually a world time with the AM, PM indicator as well. Mm. Very okay, hard to world time. That's Can you explain the Dubai and the LA part to me? What yeah, so there's one that's local time and one that's away time. Does that make that sense? That is interesting. Oh, yeah. so instead of having it around the whole dial, it actually only shows the one that you Correct. Yep. And you can change. You can scroll Much cleaner. Through. I like That's that. cool. Yep. Does you it come in other colors, the dial? Uh, I don't know that. Look, is. there's a chocolate dial right I there. Think, oh, here you go. There you go. That's pretty nice. Actually. Perfect. What size That's very nice. It's 38 millimeters. Oh, and okay. you can get these for like, I don't know, 10 to 15,000 in that range. Fuck. That oh, is actually so really deep. good. You mean send you a picture of mine? Yes, it is limited on the number of locations. I think there's only 24 locations, but I mean 24. Let's be honest. <laughs> I don't leave <laughs> New York lose... State, so what's the difference? Yeah, exactly. If you use three locations in your lifetime, you'd be Marky. lucky. You know. You want a picture of mine or not? You have this? Yeah. In You're steel. kidding. No, I also see you know, my premier retrograde as well. Okay, sure. Yeah, send it to my email if anything. I'll pull it up, Arch. I'll pull it up. Pull up words, pull up words. <laughs> pull it up. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think that's a really, I, I think Daniel Roth pieces, period, are super nice. But yeah, that's, I think that's a great value watch. These things were nothing a year ago. And literally, they, they just exploded within like. Yeah, they were, they were so cheap. Now, one, please do not spit on the screen. The first of the three, but the second. Yeah, the first. One. What is that? The first. Oh well, I guess we'll talk about it afterwards. 
I'll tell you one thing. If you follow the, the rancher's advice, you'll do very good on watches. I, I've been, Bill, uh, no, 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 no. I can't take, I, I cannot take, I can't take, no, it's Bill F. and Sanders. He does have a great channel. I like his channel. Uh, yeah, so this is, I guess, white gold black dial. Steel. Stainless steel black dial. It's steel. Even better. I guess more more practical. More this is whatever. beautiful. Oh, that's I, very nice. I like this one the most, actually. This one's beautiful. It's really yeah. nice. Yeah. Good. Literally and nothing. This is I the other one. That's the premier retrograde. Very nice. Oh, it's, yeah. I see. What a diamond right bezel. Very nice. That precious metal? Uh, no, it's stainless steel, stainless steel bracelet. But you know, sometimes, sometimes an Oki just has to feel a little fancy. Hey, Ryan, so how let me ask. You pick, how much did you pick those up for? If you yeah, that's mind. what I need to know. Four or five thousand, I think. Oh, nice. Okay, that's 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 a very good price. Thank you. Yeah, that's an amazing price. I mean, these have a hundred percent have exploded in value. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. oh no, oh no. Todd is coming after me, <laughs> saying, "But Marco, you don't like the Daniel Roth." No, I don't like it. I'm sorry. I, I really don't like it. Hold on. <laughs> Let me pull it up. Pull it up. I, I still think his pull watches up. are really nice, but that one in particular, I just don't like it all. I'm surprised Mr. GMT hasn't popped up yet. He's he's going through some stuff. Uh, yeah, this right here, this is beautiful. It's beautiful. Not, I'm sorry, I just don't like. It. It's not my thing. No, I like this a lot more. No offense, Rancher. Yours is uh, <clears throat> that's a nice watch. It's just not my uh, my aesthetic. But like I, the uh, that one, I guess because it's probably more conservative, more traditional, oh, right? Yeah. With the Absolutely. Rent, you know? Yeah, you know what's messed up too is he has to. So this is his son, if I'm not mistaken. He can't even make watches under his own name anymore because it's Bulgari who owned the rights to it, hmm. who owned the right to like his name his on name. watches. True. Yeah, that's kind of messed up. Wow. And and do they they don't use it? Do they? Do they use the name? Uh, yeah. what do you mean? Do they use the name? Like Bulgari no, used to name. No, not anymore. The right. He made watches so they... for them, but he just doesn't. We got Big Meech in the chat with the $2 oh, okay. super chat saying, Good day, gents. Hello, man. Hope you're doing well. I hope all is well. I hope the little green fellow is doing all right as well. Perth wants the link. I'm going to drop the link. Bulgari the way, also uh, bought out Genta, too. The brand. They did buy Genta. That's correct. Here we go. We got a Daniel oh, Roth turbine. Focus, turbulence. focus, focus. It's not focusing. Here, I'll well, just pull up a picture of this it. This is beautiful, Daniel. I'll well. Google it. Yeah. Pull it up. Beautiful. It's called Regulator à Tourbillon numéro 2. Amazing. I saw it at auction. It went for 100 plus. What's it called? Yeah. Regulator à Tourbillon numéro 2. And <laughs> one thing that's interesting, in my opinion, too, are the hands. So all of his hands on his Tourbillon. So if you'll see, there are three different sizes. So they'll scroll from 0 to 20 then the 20 to 40, and then the 40 to 60. I think that's so interesting, in my opinion. This is a cool way of telling. Yeah, it's second. a very geeky way of Yeah, it's like, it's, and it's distinct, distinctly like his type of design. Yeah. May I also point out, I also, I think you really have to consider if you want to take a deep dive into Daniel Roth, no homo, is um, the brigade, you have to look at the Brigade 3130, which is he? Which no, no. He but you don't want the thirty-one thirty. That is a closed case bag. So you want to get the thirty-one thirty-seven. <sighs> yeah. Well, which is the next one because that has a fully free hand engraved movement. Which is I have, I have seen nine. that movement. It is like staring into the sun. It's it is insane. Like, it's like it's amazing. It's, it's like gold and sex and magic rolled into one. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Careful there. We don't want you. Uh, yeah, this is just. This is, I mean, this is insanity. And you can pick these up for reasonably cheap because the size is somewhat small. Hello, wow, Perth. How are you, uh, man? That's beautiful. Hey. Silly me got to the AD like half an hour early. I forgot they changed their opening times. But they've already shown me a few pieces through the window. Uh, Two-tone Sea Dweller. Uh, Two-tone Explorer 1. Pass. And Pass. Z Blue. I'll take the Z Blue. Grab Z -Blue. it. Z Blue. Grab it, baby. Grab okay. it and call it Stefano. <laughs> you're not, you're not going to like the next part. 
the, okay. si- the signal the signal was plus one, meaning bundle away. Oh no, that's awful. Tell yeah. her you want a Tudor Black Bay fifty eight. Yeah, that's the best. That's, that's <laughs> the best. bundle. Yeah, you'll you'll only best bang for your buck. Bucks. Yeah, so I'm def- definitely going to at least try on the two turn Sea Dweller. It's definitely it's definitely got me interested. Thoroughly undervalued piece. I mean, Forget the, the sea sort dweller. of thing. Like- go after the Z Blue. It's the sort I mean, of thing. Gonna gonna a, if you're going to get a Sea Dweller, get the um, just the full <laughs> steel if you can. Yeah. The red line Sea Dweller is the best looking one, in my opinion. Yeah. 100%. yeah. No, I like that Sea Dweller. Sea Dweller. I like that two tone, man. It's got that. Sea Dweller in gold. Yeah, I'm that's Perth, nice. man. I'm with Perth. I like it. Yeah. Perth, what, it's the sort Perth, of recommendation what, 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 I'd expect from the rancher. Don't listen to Don't listen to What are they all for you so far, Perth? I want to hear this one more time. Uh, two-tone Sea Dweller, Z Blue, and two-tone, uh, two-tone Two-Face, someone that we don't mention, Explorer One. Mm. That's it? You should tell him I'm not happy with all any of these. I need something else. Yeah, tell me you want another GMT. Like, root uh, beer. Yeah. <laughs> tell me you want a root beer. Where the fuck's my root beer, huh? No, no, I'm just kidding. Pepsi. 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 That's a good one. Or ask him for a blue dial sky dweller. Why not a blue dial? Aren't you on the list for a blue sky? Wait, wait. Are you... Yeah, I'm already on the list for a blue sky. Hey, are That's you going the... first? Are you barring Lou's wife? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna go by oh. Shrek. Well, yeah, I, I don't know three, you should definitely take the Z blue, but I would definitely try to get something else first. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna <clears throat> um, put put down the deposit for Shrek whenever that whenever I get the call for that. Um, Wait, are we talking then... about the Oscar the Grouch Seamaster? <laughs> Shrek sounds Shrek sounds uh, more. Perth is trying to make it sound sexy, but. I don't like the Shrek watch. It's Oscar the Grouch, or it's got to be the Weed Master. The I, like, I like the Swamp Master. The I, I do like the Weed Master, too. No, but the Weed Master no. is like a double entendre, you know, like seaweed and marijuana weed. You know? <laughs> no, uh. then, 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 it, then, it sound, then it sounds like the, the Arch Rivals watch. Bad. Oh, boy. I don't know what to tell you, Perth. Yeah, no, I would honestly, I would pass on everything but potentially the Z Blue. Because if they discontinue it, then, then you'll probably kick yourself. I would 100% one. grab that Z Blue. There's not even a yeah. question. Grab the Z Blue. Tell them you want to pair like with it. a Tudor Black Bay. That's it. That's all they're getting don't at like you. It. Or a Tudor Royal. Don't like it. You don't like it? What, what don't you no. like about it? How do I we convince like you otherwise? How do we convince you that you love it? <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> serve a purpose for me. And what's yeah, that? Yeah, oh, it the purpose yeah. is to get the Z Blue. Yeah, the purpose is to get more money in your bank account once you flip it. The purpose is next month you're going to be swimming in the money. <laughs> and, and, and what and 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 what did Lil Crime Piece say at this time last year? I don't know. And what, what transpired? He said, "Oh, the platinum's getting discontinued. Oh, we're buying platinums up like there's no tomorrow." And what happened? Who was left holding the ball? I mean, hey, Platinum Daytona's have gone up like crazy. He didn't, he didn't yeah, take, but, he didn't but, really hold the but, ball. But the point, the point is, he said they would go and they didn't. Right, right, right. But well, Milgas is due for an upgrade, so yeah. Stop faking around, Perth. No, but either way, we either way, see, does, wait a minute, wait a minute. Either way, if it does, if it gets discontinued or not, it's still pretty high up in value. Either way, right. you know, not to, to bring this back, but. You know the um, the Gillishay in the middle of that day of Roth is uh, also is the world. Yeah, it is the world. That's pretty freaking cool, man. It's a nice watch, right? That's what I'm saying. Hmm. Oh, you like that suggestion, JJ? I do like that one. For you get an indie Daniel Roth, the man who revived reggae in the '70s for about ten, twelve thousand, somewhere in that range. Yeah, very nice. Cool. What do you think, man? I don't think I'm buying one, but it's cool. <laughs> Noah F says, my favorite modern Rolex right now is the Yaw Master with the rhodium dial. That's a nice one. I think the Yaw Master blue dial is nice. I yeah. prefer the platinum dial, but right. yeah, it's cool. I don't like the platinum the dial at all. It's Sorry. amazing. Man. Sorry, it's just I had with, with with that the older one, the five-digit. It was an amazing watch. I with the it. red second hands, it's amazing. Man. No, no, Noah, F, Noah F is dead right. Rolex. 
Rolex, Rod- Rodium, Dial, Yachtmaster, Platinum. Logan, checking on your health, saying how many meatballs do you have? <laughs> <laughs> okay. A lot. Logan, Logan, but and my balls Swedish. are big and full <laughs> of protein. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. No, 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 oh, no, boys, no. Got to get off track. Here's where I want to go with it. You know, actually, if he had a fish, he could feed like 5,000 people. So. Oh, what are we? Hold on. Sorry. Back Is that a again. sermon? One more time. One more time. Oh, uh, well, we can't, we can't reveal all secrets that have recently been. What the hell are fired. you wearing? What What's that? What? Some things are yeah, surprising. What was that? We what saw a Seamaster and like, some like, digital you watch. No, are not a digital. Double fisting? Double fisting? Ooh. Yeah, it's a Garmin. It's his tracking device. Oh, got, God. It's a Garmin. got it. Got it. <clears throat> yeah, man. I do, small I GI think... for sure. His Z Blue is ready to blow up. So is JJ's, man. Hopefully that thing gets discontinued. I'm definitely hoping for you guys. Yeah, it's, I think it's a smartwatch, right, Perth? Garmin smartwatch? Yeah. yeah. What's in the box, Perth? Oh, that there might be a, a deep sea. Oh, is, well, mm. will, will you show it if somebody super chats Marvel mm. ten bucks? No, I don't know because we we don't resort to desperation tactics used by Canadian Serbs. Uh, okay, I thought that's where you were leading. No, that that is nothing more than extortionary tactics that are grotesque in nature. All right, so for twenty dollars not... instead, Perth said he's going to no. show it to us. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, no. So, wait. So, what do you got in the box? You got the James Cameron, and what else? Oh, Batman. Oh, okay. So you're at the roller city. You basically brought the watches that you bought from them. You got to uh, show them I'm you're wearing, not a flipper, wearing... right? Perth is such a good guy. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. He's, he's bringing it. AD. He's going he armed. He's, he's armed and ready. ready. <laughs> Look at me. I haven't flipped well, any watches. <laughs> well, what what I what I actually did was the stickers they forgot to remove off my Batman. I actually took them back to them last time and said, "Here you go. You missed some." Just to prove that I'm not a flipper. Good man, Perth. Good man. Swiss, we got to pull, way you get gotta pull up that flipper, here. man. We got to get that flipper. If you also take the yeah, watch, because so far that it. proves you're a bad flipper. Did, did, someone mention, did someone say flipper? There's just so, there's just so, uh, so much, uh, such a heightened awareness of staff down here and so much distrust, especially of new customers, that they're flippers. Yeah. I've seen so many people get invisibly blacklisted just on the mere suspicion that they're a flipper. Even talking share market can get you invisibly blacklisted down here. Like even talking shares. Man, what what if- about if you grow horns? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a permanent blacklist. Uh, what's it called? So we're talking Brega. This is definitely another watch uh, before that we mentioned. I think pull this up, is absolutely fortunate. Up. Watch. It's got to be one of the most beautiful watches ever yep. made. And the movement yeah. is just insanity. It's a literal insanity. Like there, nobody does this anymore. Could, no. could you pull up that image that Swiss just dropped? Yes. <laughs> the flipper. Oh gosh, here we go. I like JJ's Brigade. That's a nice watch. That is a nice it's watch. A beautiful watch. Look at that. The flipper. <laughs> the certified. Oh God. Stupid. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> but yeah. I'm hoping Brege releases a new Type 20. It's specifically the only watch variation. It's got to mm. happen. With a black dial, please. Mm. Yeah, with a black dial. Mm. Although I do like this brown dial. It's a kind of a missed opportunity. This one right here. This is so nice. This one is mm. nice. but Come on, it's a poopy brown. No, that's not the no. one. This isn't that. the one I like. <laughs> this is the one I like. Yes. Mm. This is cool. God damn. I want this design in a black. That's dial. a lot of watch. Yeah, it's so nice. But it's got to have. So here's the thing, right? Breguet currently uses, I think it's a what is it, a Lamagna based caliber, but it's it's a, a cam chronograph, right? It's not a column wheel. Right. Should should they switch to an in house movement, I guess, or maybe a Lamagna based movement that has a a column wheel? But that would jack up the price like crazy, you know? Yep. It would make it more, more expensive to service as well. I mean, mm. the only difference is that when you start the chronograph, it is just it, it is so much easier to start, and there's no twitching of the uh, minute. Right. Yeah. yeah. Here you go. 
Ali says Brege hates their customers as much as Pen right now. They will never release. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. There's so many watches. So like another one that I love is this one right here. So, but the one thing that I hate about this is this, the date window does kind of bother me. Like it really bothers me. It's obtrusive. Uh, imagine this no date. Yeah, but they made it's, it. It's so almost they like, made it's it. like got the oh, they, font. They did. Of... Yeah, they did do it. So they did a limited a... edition of 20 pieces and it's got mm -hmm. a no date. Here it is. <laughs> it's wow. got a no date. It's <laughs> like a middle finger. Oh, you want that? You want it's that? Fucking oh, you want beautiful. that? Well, that thing is fucking <laughs> beautiful. Look beautiful. at that. Amazing. This is so beautiful. fucking nice, but they made a limited edition of 20 pieces. <laughs> Only their high class customers that lose like 40% of the value on the watches they're buying from them. Are able to get this it makes no no sense this is so pretty and this is super versatile like you can definitely wear this with jeans that and corn like... edge but that corn edge on the case that's yeah crazy. it's beautiful and it's 30 uh, millimeters which is a great size you know, you know what this reminds me of this is this is what ap should have done on the code exactly what's on this dial yep. the yeah so the just no date you see that just yeah. use this yeah yeah just copy it completely Absolutely. slap it on the code and send me a check. <laughs> Lou says, JJ's Breguet is beautiful. Uh, what occasions would you wear it? You have so many pieces. Let us know, JJ. Oh, man. I wear it all the time. Uh, mm. Ever since I put that light blue stra uh, strap on it, it's really become like a casual wear. Um, I don't really wear it <clears throat> super casual because I have so many other watches for that. But if I'm going out for dinner, if I'm going uh, to like a, a daytime party, something like that, I wear it. Uh, from going to like a, usually like a daytime event. So basically, you look at it, you pet it, and sorry, it wasn't a limited edition of twenty pieces, Swiss. I was incorrect. It's a limited edition of ten pieces. Even <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> um, what kind of metal is Lawrence. that made out of? It's white gold. Oh, okay, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, price point on this. So the retail on this I would one say was thirty thousand. Yeah, it was about 25 US, 23, 400 euros, oh, okay. so about 25,000 US. But you can get these with the day version um, for like 19, maybe 20 on the secondary market now. But th they're still relatively new. Wait a couple of years before buying this. The, be the, big, the, big gripe, the big gripe I have with the date model, look at the font of the, of the date window. It looks like someone has gone to Arlung and Zerna with a, and gotten a Lunga one taken the date will out and just squished all the font down mm. on the numbers and it looks mm. horrible you don't like, like the font from another I watch. Looks great. i love it the font like i just hate the whole date window I just get rid of it all together yeah. yeah get rid of the date window yeah, yeah. or at least Copyright get rid of the three and move it more to the right and it would have been okay <laughs> no F says i love how brave yeah absolutely that cool that coin edge case the cold roll I mean, it must be so, – I don't know how they do it, but it must be such a difficult and labor-intensive process. And not to mention, they solder on their lugs, right? And then they remove the weld marks by hand. Like It's so yeah. labor-intensive. It's it's unbelievable. Yeah, exactly. And even bigger – yeah, exactly. It's an even bigger middle finger. Yep. Ali says, JJ has to switch watches often between Becky from accounting, Liz from the <laughs> services desk, <laughs> and Claudia the lingerie model. <laughs> so he gets to use them all each week. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I wish, man. I wish. But you, hold on. You, you also forget. Ali, Ali forgot from Becky from down the block. There's Becky from accounting and Becky from the block. No? That, that's Jenny. Jenny that's from the Jenny, block. Yeah, Sorry, exactly. Jenny from the block. Jenny. <laughs> and yeah. on special weekends, Candy with a K. <laughs> all righty guys we've been going for almost an hour and 20 minutes what do you say we wrap the show up i'm going to drop the link in the chat if anybody wants to joe oh, wait. oh can't wrap it up now can't wrap it we got simon Morning. says wristwatch a fellow quebecer hello man <laughs> hope you're doing well saying panel's thoughts on adding a day just 36 blue fluted motif dial Fluted bezel jubilee to my collection. Should I go the Cartier Santos medium gold and steel instead? All right. So first of all, let me pull up both those watches. Um, pull up, watch, pull it up. Pull so up. Dick just is uh, that uh, dial is crazy. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy to just... say that this is not me doing a Simon Says. <laughs> The, the dial on that they just is or? amazing in person. Mm. They're still amazing. not open yet. I got it. I got it yeah. too early. If you so you guys know that, they make neckties like that. Hey, crazy. don't mm. wait until so the I only open. thing is, is Simon does have a GP Laureato, which he got years ago, like a year or two ago. Um, so I don't know. It's a bit, in my opinion, too similar to potentially. But just, now just, you I can love get that. this and sell that. the GP for I, Yeah, a I good still price. think this is beautiful. <laughs> yep. Beautiful. And then that he has the really Cartier beautiful. Santos Golden who, Steel. Let me pull that one. Who, up. who wants Perth to just barrel into the uh, <clears throat> the AP, um, the AD? Just barrel in there before they open. Give me a fucking watch now. Just break <laughs> in, man. Take a second. Yeah! <laughs> so I would just avoid this altogether, in my opinion. I, I, oh, I, like I should have JJ call the manager. I disagree. I had this on wrist. Watch. I think it's a very. I almost bought this thing two years ago <laughs> in Utah. Like I, had it I, like it. I liked it. I don't I have know. the required horns fitted to knock through the door. I don't have the horns to knock over the door. I would just get a regular Santos, like Birmingham just got the medium, but just in steel, full steel. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't get the two tone. I think this would be if he got so. Hold on, let me pull up his. Okay, Perth, just put on a Viking helmet, and then an APP will go out against Archie. <laughs> in in my opinion, gentlemen, the, the two tone looks a little bit more feminine. I don't know. It's just I don't. Yeah, I don't like the two tone. So he's I'm got just a not a fan suit. of the Santos. He's got in, a Zenith El Primero. Mm-hmm. He's got the SVGM two two one, which is that GMT mm-hmm. with the ivory dial, oh, the wow. GP, and he's got the Tudor Black Bay. I think a Santos in this collection would look perfect. As as yeah. I was saying Just earlier steal. today, the Santos is like really trendy right now. It's kind oh, of yes. the watch to get. But who knows if in three years it's still going to be the same. But right. the Datejust blue dial is amazing. And it will stay I amazing would, for the next I would get the, the Datejust blue dial. And I, you could from that point, you could live without the Black Bay 58. Because it's a little bit, you know. No, similar. that's his diver. You need the diver. Yeah, I like that. I like that blue one. <clears throat> yeah, you need the diver. I got that blue one. I got one. I don't think. Okay. What's everyone wearing fragrance wise? What's everyone My wearing action. fragrance wise? I've got Creed Viking. Creed Millisame Imperial. Got some on. There we go. Very nice. Uh, Logan Hall says, I miss Mr. Two. I think he coined Becky for that's correct. Yes, he did. Logan yeah. is an OG. He knows. Yes, he did coin Becky from accounting. That is correct. We do miss Mr. Two. He's the man. We got Mr. Right, right. GMT with a two dollar super chat saying, Awesome to see all you sexy gents all looking sexy. GMT, we love you, man. I hope you're doing well. Hope all is well, brother. Hey, how are you, Mr. GMT? We are with you. But yeah, this is a really nice. I like the Zenith. I like this a lot. I like the Grand Seiko. Nice. That yeah, Grand Seiko is really cool. It's got the date at 6 o'clock. Right? Mm. Say that again? I said, you know who else likes Zenith, right? I just want to talk <laughs> Zenith. Zenith is my favorite. <laughs> Remember, Ari's going to break down the Zenith uh, releases for us. So oh, I'm yeah, looking exactly. forward to that. Uh, that's yep. going to be the best. I can He's going to break it down. Yep. So, yeah. In all honesty, it. Simon, if I had to pick one, I would just say a medium Santos, just steel. Plain steel Santos. I'm going to go with the Rolex. Rolex. Yeah, you know what I was going to say? What's interesting about Simon's collection is unique in these days, Rolex. in this day and age, no Rolex. Rolex. It's missing yeah, there's Rolex. no Rolex. That's correct. Rolex. Yeah. The GP Laureato is nice. Yeah. It, it is, is nice in this collection. And he owned this before the hype, to be fair. He did own this before the hype. So we got to give him credit. Kudos. I remember watching the unbox. Actually, he did, I think, uh, a video on Uptick watch reviews of him getting this watch. Very nice. Very cool. Don't they make a green dial too, I think? But theirs is like more like a shocking green. Which one? Of the Laureato? Yeah. Or maybe it was a limited edition. Um, I think it was that Tiffany, I think right? Something. They did like a Tiffany for Dubai, like a turquoise. Yeah, it was like a real, like really, like almost like a Kelly Green. I'd say go to go for the Cartier Santos. <laughs> We're kind of split down the middle. We got a couple Santos, couple Rolex. Rancher, what do you think? And I'll tell you why. The, say if he wants a Rolex, because I'm not sure he does. Seeing his collection down the road, 
get enough, get something different, you know, get one of their professional models. I don't know if you can get it. They just is perfect. Hong Kong is hard to get. Watch no, it, that, that, it's a that nice watch. Just, that particular dial. That's the watch. He already has the the Tudor and the GP as sports watches. Get the Datejust for you know that that Rolex. Wow! Okay. No, get the Fair GMT. Enough. Get the Batman. Fuck the Batman. Fuck you. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, don't... <laughs> <laughs> I love you, man. I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah no. Zaki in the house. The I, honestly speaking, Batman. I don't know if, if the Batman is an option realistically, right? So. Listen, I don't think you could go wrong with either. Maybe the day just you guys are swaying me. I might have to I might have to side with you guys. Look at that watch day again. Day. Look how pretty that dial is. It's it's yeah. crazy. Marco, stick to your guns, man. Don't let any don't let them sway you. Come to the dark side. It is nice. I mean, it is really nice. Like look at this. Cat. You can't lie. This is a nice watch. Look at them, the pattern. No, it, it is nice. What, what, let me ask you this. What is this? Oh, the fluted motif dial. Yeah, okay, that's, fluted motif. that's... Oh, all right. Yeah, so that's interesting. I th yeah, you know what? Santos. I nope, go sorry. I'm staying with Cartier Santos. It's Cap is wrong. Sorry. If, if <laughs> I got that watch, though, I would have to get the necktie that goes with it. There's a Rolex necktie that's the same pattern. Yeah, you can probably ask them for it. George, when's the last time you wore a necktie? <laughs> uh, about two years ago, honestly. <laughs> I wonder if it'll take them three years to get you the necktie. <laughs> Is there a necktie? Alrighty, guys. I appreciate I appreciate uh, GMT and Simon says thanks for dropping by. Thanks for the support. Really appreciate it. Thanks everybody in the chat for hanging out with us tonight. It's been nice. First stream in almost a week, so. Always nice to chat with you guys in the chat. I want to thank, of course, JJ for joining us. The captain, the rancher, hey, Toyota man. Mo, the one hey, and man. only, Swiss, and Big George. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. And, of course, as always, you got to wear your watches. It's the most important thing. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the watches.